livestock, or even humans, this dog will stand up to anything, and we do mean anything. In Turkey, it's well recorded that this large breed has stood up to everything from jackals and wolves to bears. Eventually used in Africa, the Kungal adapted quickly and successfully protects farms and livestock from hunting cats like cheetahs and lions. If it's raised with no livestock to protect, the Kungal will see itself as the guardian of its human family. In this role, it will defend its family members and territory with the same instincts the breed uses against larger predators like bears and lions. Yikes, we guess that neighborhood cat better stay out of your yard from now on. Dog de Bordeaux Oh look, yet another Mastiff breed. We're sensing a bit of a theme here, though with good cause. The Dog de Bordeaux is also known as the French or Bordeaux Mastiff. This breed is extremely thick and heavy, weighing in at around 150 pounds and looking more than capable of knocking you down in an instant. Considered one of the oldest French breeds, this large dog found its place in society, pulling carts, guarding livestock, and even being used to protect the castles of the French nobility. In fact, much of its early history led to this breed's reputation as an ideal hunter, guardian, and fighter. While today you may find one of these dogs lounging in full couch potato mode, don't be fooled. The dog de Bordeaux still has all those traits and instincts from generations past. It is an incredibly patient guard dog, willing to stand silently while it watches and assesses the area. If its property or family comes under threat, it will not think twice about going into full protection mode, which we imagine can't be good for any intruder. Fila Brasileiro as you can probably guess, this dog was developed and originally bred in Brazil. As a result, it is often referred to as the Brazilian Mastiff. The Fila Brasileiro is believed to have been developed when Europeans brought their dogs to the New World. There has been strong speculation that this breed has parts of hound and bulldog in it, which actually explains some of its traits. You see, this dog is known for being a great guard dog, whether it's guarding an estate or group of livestock. Likely driven by the hound in it, the Brasilero will roam around, often tracking and following scents it feels might be related to intruders or predators. That's where the Mastiff in it takes over. Growing as big as 3 feet tall and weighing over 100 pounds, this breed isn't likely to attack a threat. No, if it confronts a predator or unfortunate burglar, the dog will attempt to fix the prey in place. We imagine this is done by either staring into your soul or, as Mastiffs are known to do, by pinning you to the ground with its sheer weight and power. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Heavy, strong, and developed in the Swiss Alps, the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is a perfect fit for this list. On the one hand, this big breed is social and calm and loves to be part of the family. Just don't let that fool you too much. The Swissy might be great around the family, but they are most happy when they have a job or task to perform. These include herding, carrying loads of goods, and guarding their territory. In fact, the greater Swiss mountain dog may not look it, but they are extremely alert and make excellent watchdogs. Where the guard dog factor comes in is when someone or something comes onto their turf. This breed will generally not back down and will stand its ground against anything it perceives as a threat. If its bark isn't intimidating to any intruders, then we imagine the sight of this dog is. You see, the Swissy can eat.